As we get on to 1994, their first album, without the services of Alex Skolnick and their former drummer, we see that Testament is a band that is now entering a portion of time where metal itself is kind of going through a great unknown. Many great bands at this point in time have already released some of their greater albums and now have been kind of fading a little bit, with the rise of grunge music and other individualized music genres starting to take a little bit of hold and a little bit of the helm, it is being seen that metal and thrash as a whole have kind of been phasing a little bit out. So with this album, and with the personnel change, Testament had a lot of different decisions to make. The first of which was to hire James Murphy to come on and be the new guitarman for this album, which they entitled Low. Uh, here in 1994, this was definitely something where, after the ritual, they had a lot of unanswered questions to really uh, focus on whenever it came to their sound also. It seemed as though everything had been pointing toward them making an album such as The Ritual from albums previous. However, after making this album and after seeing the departure of Skolnick, where were they going to go from here musically, especially with the services of two brand new members, two brand new pieces to the puzzle in the form of a new Axeman and a new Skinsman? Uh, the result is actually an album that has a bit of a darker tone to it, but still retains some of the uh, older ideas that you will hear from Testament's older work, and including The Ritual. This is definitely an album that still is able to maintain some of that trademark moniker that they've been able to give themselves throughout the seasons and throughout the years, and certainly one that takes a little bit of a cue from The Ritual sometime more often than not. However, the big thing that I must say about this album is definitely the darker underbelly to it, and this is something that was setting up uh, what the band would be doing uh, when there are two future albums after this, Demonic and The Gathering. There definitely seems to be a harsher tone going on here, something that has a little bit more of a harsh reality to it. James Murphy's guitar is not one that really mirrors this very much. It's more so in the overall vocal tone that Chuck Billy is able to employ throughout the tracks on this album. I take a listen to something such as Hail Mary, and you start to understand that even though he does have that same idea, that same vocal style that he used on albums previous, there definitely seems to be a little bit more of a gruffness, a little bit more of a rough exterior to it, something that definitely projects with a little bit more ferocity as opposed to perhaps what we've heard on previous Testament releases. James Murphy, as a matter of fact, apart from a couple of uh, keynote differences, definitely has a lot of the same tools of the trade that Alex Skolnick did, so as a result, he has a lot of similar uh, tonal features, a lot of things that really reminded a lot of people of Alex, and I'm sure if if you were a fan of the band or, or one that really had just gotten into the band, you would have swore up and down that that Alex guy was still with them, because there definitely is a lot of things stylistically, not to mention tone-wise, that uh, really bear a lot of similarity. Some of the solos on this album are certainly uh, very, very good, and definitely match up toe for toe with some of the things that Alex has been able to do throughout the first couple of albums that uh, Testament put out previous to this. I think one of the main reasons why a lot of people kind of deviate their attention toward this band directly after The Ritual is because uh, Lowe definitely marked a time where the songwriting was taking a little bit of a hit. While there was still a lot of cr uh, crazy material on here, such as Trail of Tears and Dog-Faced Gods, there definitely feels uh, like there's just a little bit of a twinge of similarity here, and there's definitely some material that doesn't feel to be quite as strong. However, it definitely has its own ability to kind of hold its own throughout the rest of the Testament discography. This is definitely just an album where it seems as though a continuation of Ritual with more of a darker edge, a more sinister smile, not to mention some of the older uh, trademark gimmicks still coming back to life with two new faces in the, uh, in the fold, really, to complete the puzzle, just seemed as though it, it, it kind of gave them a little bit of a rough and rugged edge, something where it was not completely and 100% uh, something that was kicking at all cylinders, though it would by the time this three-album uh, idea of Low, Demonic, and The Gathering concluded. This is certainly one uh, that definitely sees the kind of the, the birth pains of experiencing loss of uh, legendary members, so to speak. And this is in no way a knock to James Murphy whatsoever, who does a fantastic job. And this is an album that just feels that, for all of its moments that really shine, that really do very, very well, all those keynote guitar solos that just seem to blow you away, you know, Chuck Billy still sounding very, very impressive, if not a little bit more gruff, there just seems to feel uh, like there's a little bit of an inconsistency going on here. And this is certainly one that's barely noticeable, however, it's one that becomes a little bit more prominent as you kind of look through and reflect after listening to some 
some of the more classic Testament releases. It's one that sizes up only in, in small doses as opposed to some of the others, which of course size up toe-to-toe -to, -toe, uh, to albums such as The New Order, uh, either that or even, for me at least, The Ritual. I love The Ritual, so that's just something that you know, everyone's going to have to get over, including myself. Uh, altogether, as a follow-up to the ritual, Low definitely presented a lot of challenges, and it seemed as though the band was able to uh, push past them quite well. They were able to do everything that they could with what they had uh, capable to them, and really were able to do maybe a little bit more than some people expected. Uh, James Murphy, once again, his addition to this band definitely gave them kind of a nice uh, charge of adrenaline that they needed, and it definitely made the songwriting process, I'm sure, a little bit more of uh, on the simpler side, considering he has a lot of similarities to what Alex was able to bring to the table. So that at least gave them a little bit of an edge. I think that this fierceness that we started to hear on Low, at, that definitely continued in a big way, uh, on the next album we're going to talk about, Demonic, is certainly a shift that many people will chronicle as a crucial turning point for Testament, and something that they basically used not as a way to stay relevant, but instead as a way to morph their sound into something uh, that really reflected the type of material that they were writing. And it's a shame because there's a lot of material on these albums that really for a lot of ears remains very much unlistened to because of some situations that I'm going to speak about also on the Demonic Album Review, which will be coming up next. So, overall, as a whole, Testament had a lot of different pieces to the puzzle that they added, and they were able to do with it what they could on low. It was definitely an album that was a lot better than a lot of people expected, but not without its flaws. And also, I feel that in the 1990s, as their deal with Atlantic uh, came to an end, and they started to shop for other deals and also form their own record label, Burnt Offerings, uh, this is definitely a couple of moves that we will see kind of come back and leave Testament on this path where it seemed as though, or it felt as though, at least for a lot of people, that perhaps uh, Blanc and Mist, uh, that The Ritual and Low were some of the last albums that they put out, when in reality there were two that were in there in between those two and First Strike Still Deadly. So let's stop talking about low. Let's stop this low point from what everybody said, even though it really wasn't a low point, and let's talk about something a little more sinister. Let's talk about demonic. <laughs> 